Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to create a vector of zero length in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples for different types of vectors, but in the first example I'm going to create a numeric vector with a length of zero. And this is what you can see in line two of the code. So in line two of the code I'm simply applying the numeric function and for the numeric function, I'm simply using the default specifications, so I'm not specifying anything within the parentheses. And then I'm storing the output of the numeric function in a new data object, which is called vecnum. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the top right of our studio, a new data object is created. And we can also have a look at this data object by running line four of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that an empty numeric vector is returned, which has a length of zero. We can also double check the length of our created vector by applying the length function, as you can see in line six of the code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the value zero is returned, or in other words, our vector vecnum has a length of zero. Yeah, so in the first example of this video, I have shown you how to create an empty numeric vector. However, you can apply the same logic to all kinds of data classes in the R programming language. So in line eight, I'm creating an empty character vector. In line 9, I'm creating an empty vector. In line 10, I'm creating an empty logical vector and so on. So as you have seen, it is very easy to create empty vectors with a length of zero in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.